Mamalina here. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different for this video. Right now we're doing something that we don't do very often and that is go out tonight. For the first time ever, we've actually asked the babysitters to come like half an hour early. Normally whenever we go out, which already is rare, it's always like we're scrambling around until the very last minute. The babysitter arrives, rush out the door, never even get time to shower, put makeup on in the car, like it's always such a rush. For our babysitter we're using, and we've been using these guys for a while, an app called Bubble. They're amazing. It's all done with like social data. So they hook you up with babysitters that people in your network I think it uses Facebook, know or have used. So for example, when we look up a babysitter, I can see, oh yeah, actually, so-and-so, my friend, has used them and gave them five stars. The other reason we like it is because you know normally when you get babysitters, there's that awkward thing. Say you get back at like, I don't know, quarter to 11, and then you're like, all the way around up. Bubble's really neat in that you tap in and out, so like tonight, for example. We tap in when she arrived, and then when we get back and she leaves, we tap the app again, and that's when payments are calculated. And there's no faffing around with like awkward conversations around, oh, I'll just round it up. I also love them because they've just partnered with Tommy's Baby Charity, who are an incredible charity around baby loss. You can actually add a tip on the end of your session that will go straight to the charity, and then I think Bubble also waive their booking fee as well. All in all, it's like a really cool, like very modern, babysitting app that I feel like is much needed in this space. Before I use up all of our babysitting time talking, I'm going to do a bit of a chatty kind of get ready with me video I guess. I've never done one of these videos before so let's go. So I've had a shower and I've moisturised. I do it all over body moisturised. I use this. It's a coconut body milk and it's organic and it's vegan. In fact, I'm running dangerously low and it just comes in like a um, push down button top. I don't know the word for that super soft, it smells amazing, like no hidden nasties, it actually says that on the bottle. Some of you might or might not know, I hadn't used shampoo for a long time, maybe nine months now, I want to say maybe even a year, but it started feeling a bit meh, and so I started reintroducing shampoo. I'm using this Faith in Nature stuff. Sam got it for me for my birthday, it's not too expensive, it's all organic, and again it's coconut, which you'll probably realise is a smell I really love. I use this bamboo toothbrush. And I use this mouth paste. Because I drink so much coffee, I get a little bit paranoid about my teeth growing yellow. And this contains bicarb soda for teeth whitening. It's getting quite hot in here. I'm going to change into something else. Oh, that's better. I'm going to do something I haven't done in ages now, which is shave my armpits. I haven't done that in about four weeks and I forgot to do it in the shower so I thought that I would just quickly do it now. So I use my husband's razor. I always find that men's razors are better than women's anyway and it just makes sense that we share. He uses this organic shaving gel from Dr. Bronner's so I'm just going to nick a little bit of that. I just nearly finished it. deodorant bar which I absolutely love. It also smells amazing. My armpits are still a little bit wet from shaving. Sometimes I'll dab a little bit of water on the bar which helps it. And I just find that this totally does a job in terms of keeping me smell free. I love it. When I'm really really trying to treat myself I will put this face mask on which is the bunny moon one from Lush. I love it. It's got like honey in it and it just smells amazing. I will put it on for about 10 minutes. Also got chamomile in it and marigold. That's like the floral smell. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. I really need a hairband to put my hair back. So when it comes to washing face products off, whether it's makeup remover, face masks, toner, I don't really use toner, I always use a muslin. So you can see this one is filthy and needs a wash, but they are the only things that are soft enough and also reusable because I don't want to use the cotton pads because I want something more sustainable, but the flannels and stuff like the cheeky wipes that I use on the kids to wipe their faces, it's just way too harsh to like really like repeatedly take makeup off with, especially around the eye area. I already have enough wrinkles. The muslins are much, much softer and then just pop them in the washing machine afterwards. 
I'll just wet my muslin. It feels amazing. Next up, it's the face. Like I said at the beginning, I don't have like one particular product that I'm married to and have used for years and am obsessed with, no. I kind of just tend to grab whatever's nearest. But I do have a couple of favourites, so here they are. This Apothecary Moisturiser by a brand called Thomas Michaels. They're vegan, they're organic, and it's absolutely amazing. And also like this pot has lasted me so long. Smells divine. This cream, whenever I put it on, sounds like, oh, you smell so nice. And often some creams can be a little bit strong or something, but this one is just lovely. Water, organic olive oil, organic jojoba, lots of different oils, basically. All the ingredients are natural, and it's just simple. And also, it's handmade. It's a really small company. I really urge you to check them out. So that's one that I love, and I kind of put on day or night. I don't have special creams for day and night, I should probably. So generally I love face oil. I don't know if it's right, they just make my face feel really, really good and glowing, and I love them. This is Argan Oil. It's by a brand called Conscious Skin Care. It just feels really good on my skin, and you only need a tiny, tiny bit. I always take too much and then um, end up with like grease everywhere. The other one I really like, Nukes Oil. So I had this for ages. It was always one that sat at the back of my cupboard. Then I recently opened it, and what's cool about it is like, you can use it everywhere. So you can use it on the body, in your hair, on your face, but it's got this like bronze to it. It's actually a little bit glittery. And so I feel like when I wear this, it gives me a tint at the same time. Um, so I don't need to use bronze or anything like that. So those are my three favorite kind of bases. As I keep saying, I'll keep reiterating, I know I'm doing this probably wrong, I should probably use toner or primer, I don't know, but this is what I do. <laughs> what I'm going to actually do is take a couple of drops of the argan oil. It's kind of awkward. Like I said, you only need a tiny, tiny bit and just put that on. Then today I think I'm going to put on the Thomas Michaels. Take a tiny bit. That's kind of my base. I don't know any of the technical words. <laughs> so I've recently started using like a BB cream or a foundation. So I use this Ren Satin Perfection BB cream. I had it for ages, sat untouched. I asked someone at work what she used on her skin because she has such great skin and she said BB cream. So I thought, oh, I've got one of those. I don't really know if it makes any difference. But maybe as you get older, your skin needs like a little bit more, I don't know. A lot of the time I actually wear zero makeup, but if I'm going out, I guess I like to put something on. Does that made any difference? Probably not. Okay, blush is another one that I kind of recently got into because I naturally have quite red cheeks anyway. I never thought I needed to wear it, but then one day I tried it and I thought, oh. So I use this Benefit one. I don't know. It's probably completely not the right tone for me. A friend gave it to me because it was the wrong tone for her. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll try it. And I've ended up just using it. I do like blusher actually, although I do have a tendency to put too much on. Oh wow, that's definitely too much. And this also smells of coconut, so I love it. Again, I have no idea how to apply blusher. The part I really like are the eyes and the lips, so let's get on to that. Okay, so let's start with the eyes. I have a thing for green. So I have two green eyeliners. This one's the number seven one, and this one is a little bit of a fancier one from my mother-in-law for my birthday, which is a MAC one. This one's like a pen, and this one's like the traditional pencil thing. So for the sake of ease and speed, I'm gonna just use the pencil one. I also absolutely love this one. Oh, it's super blunt, we'll give it a go. It's hurting my little eyes. Right, Oof. Mascara, okay, of all the beauty items, mascara is probably the only one where I have like a must have. I've been using this for years, a friend recommended it, and it's L'Oreal Telescopic, and I love it. It's got like a small brush, which I find for my lashes just works really well. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, this is quite hard. Whoa, oh, that's my eyes done. If I'm going for something a little bit more low-key, like if I'm just going to work or something, then I tend to use brown eyeliner or black. Actually, I just use whatever I have knocking them out in my bag. <laughs> right, lip stuff. So, I'm a big fan of brown lips. I say I'm a big fan of these things, but then I just change depending on what's 
around. These are my favourite brown lipsticks. So this NARS one, just a kind of nudie brownie, it's got slight pink in it. Just dropped it. This Max Factor brown one, um, it's called Lipfinity and it does stay on for infinity. I will wake up the next morning with this still on. So this is a good one for work if I just want to put it on in the morning and not have to think about it all day. The same guys that do the toothbrush, they do a makeup range called Dusty Girls. It's so nice. They have the nicest brown lipstick and it's all paraben free, there's no synthetics. So I'm going to wear this one. Maybe I'm going to add a dash of the Max Factor because it's a bit darker. And that is basically it. So I'll just take my hair down. So I use this brush religiously, which is the Spornet. I started using it when I went no poo because it's the absolute best brush to use to redistribute your hair's oils. Kind of, you start from the top and you take it all the way to the bottom. It's the best way basically to clean your hair using your hair's own oils. And it also just gives loads of volume. Then I tip my head over and do it this way. And then just kind of smush. Sometimes I have a fringe, sometimes I don't. I really need to make some more dry shampoo. Basically I'm a bit awkward about using products in my hair if I'm not washing it. So I stopped using it, but now if I'm washing it again, I probably need to make another batch of it. But yeah, that's it. I don't wear loads. I don't know, is what I've shown you a lot of makeup? I don't know. I hope you like this video, just a kind of chatty, get ready with me, I think the kids call them. I pretty much run out of time. I need to throw some clothes on and go downstairs, sort a few final bits out with the babysitter, and say bye to the kids, and head on out. Thanks so much for watching. If you're a parent and you're looking for an easy way to find a babysitter that actually your friends might have used, you might not even know that your friends have used, then really, really check out Bubble. I really recommend them. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next